The new sweep mesh tool in Maya 2022 is a really versatile curve-based modeling tool. Basically, works with nerves or Bezier curves, allows you to select curves and then just in one click, quickly create a mesh. So most common example would be, of course, tubes and wires. Uh, but you can create different shapes based on uh, these different profile presets. So we have the ability to create rectangles, rectangles with rounded corners. You can control things like the width and the height. Uh, obviously, you can control things like the subdivisions along the length. But it also does a really good job of dealing with things like elbows and things like corners, which the old NURB surface tool just could not handle. So what you'll see here is we're creating a pipe and it maintains the constant uh, volume all the way through the length of the pipe, including the elbows. So it creates really nice elbows. So I could basically select these and extrude them and get essentially like what looks like an actual plumbing elbow in a, in a pipe or on a pipe. Uh, similarly here, we can take a edge around uh, a shape uh, and create kind of frames and architectural details. So something like crown molding. Uh, and you can customize that using a number of different methods. So you can use a simple polygon shape and then define that shape as your profile and the perimeter of the plane in this case, or it could be any any arbitrary shape, but the perimeter will define the profile of that extruded or that swept path. Uh, then you can go in and interactively adjust that. So as you change the shape of the profile input, that will change the shape of the uh, actual sweep mesh. And you can also do this on top of other surfaces or on top of other geometry. So here we're basically taking some edge loops on the fender of this car. Uh, we're converting those to curves. We're just doing a quick combine to turn that into one curve. And then we're creating a sweep, which by default is just gonna be a simple circle. We'll tweak the divisions here a little bit. And then we'll actually use another edge loop from another piece of geometry as the profile. So we're using uh, one edge loop from uh, one piece of geometry as a profile, another edge loop from another piece of geometry as the path, and we're basically able to construct geometry on geometry with Sweep. As you can see, Sweep is a really versatile tool for creating lots of different shapes.